Hey guys. Well, again, we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had told you in the last video about scribing a log, and we, we told you how not to glue everything together in last night's video. And don't get me started, okay? Well, this is what I, uh, this is something that I've been dealing with for about the last half hour, hour, to try to get it just right. I got my bottom cut on my good old trusty chop saw here. I've got it level, plumb and level. Um, I, I think that I'm going to have to go with it this way. Obviously, I've already drilled a tendon. Now, what has happened is this, okay? In the midst of trying to get my tendons in, one of them is already about an inch in because this material has got a bit of a bow to it, okay? Now, these tenons, as I measure them, oh, my glasses, oh, God, okay, my tenons max out at, okay, four, four and a quarter inches, okay? Now, I've already got a, I've already got an inch in here, but I've still got four, four and a quarter up here. That's still going to give me, in my opinion, plenty of meat to go in. That's why we cut a little radius out to make room for the, for the little branchy knob, which we'll end up sanding it off and down a little bit take any pointy inches off, but before you saw this arm was actually over here, okay? Now here was the problem that it would have posed. What I like to do is now that I've drilled my hole for my tenon, in fact, uh, the tenon hole drill that I use on my big Milwaukee is, uh, it's got a nice point on it. So what I end up doing is I end up taking, uh, this is just a 3 16 inch drill bit, I line it up on the center of the hole inside, okay, and I'll go all the way through and I'll come out the other side. Now where this would have lined up, that would have been in the way. So this kind of helped me. Don't just throw your log in place. If it takes you a half an hour to move it around, look at it different ways, find the best way that it's going to work for you. Now. The other note that I am going to make is that from the end of each one of these tenons, this is a king size bed, it's not a California king, it is in fact a, a, just a standard king. Uh, it's 76 wide by 80 long, and I think that a California king is 72 by 84. I'm, I'm not going to build California kings unless there's a request for them, okay? And I think by far in my research online, queens are the most widely sold bed, alright? Well, for the sake of the video, what I want to be able to do is, I didn't want to end up having the headboard end where the box spring and mattress would come up and then have the logs way on the outside of the bed. I want the mattress, I want it to fall about the middle of the bed post on, on both the, uh, the front and the, uh, the footboard and the headboard, I'm sorry. It, it's been a long day. Uh, but yeah. Now, right now, I've got about an inch, like I said, stuck in the hole here, and I haven't drilled this one out yet because we've got a, we've got a little, little bow here. Well, I'm going to mark this, and when I assemble it, I still think I'm going to have a good solid three inches of meat in this post, okay, which I still need to cut that off flat, too. Well, it's six inches across, even three inches going in. As we go up the base of the trunk here, the, the tree's getting a little smaller and smaller. Well, down here, I'm going to be able to stuff all four inches right into it, okay? So that's, four is about the halfway point here, three is the halfway point up here. By the time I get the other end on, I want to be able to measure seven or eight inches up from the bottom because that's where the plate from the frame is going to sit, okay? I told you we're using a metal frame and we'll do an optional uh, side rail cap which, if people opt for them or not, it's, it's basically decorative at that point. But I like the idea of going with a metal frame with a metal mounting plate, okay? It'll just make my life a little easier, and I think it will actually add better stability to the bed. Now, with that being said, what I'm going to do is we're going to get the, uh, we're gonna get the rest of this uh, drill, we're going to get the other side together, and then we're going to measure down at the bottom from center to center, and what I want to come up with is what the width I'm going to need for my frame to line up roughly in the middle of my log, which, like I said, is 72 inches. Now, if one end is out further than the other, what I may have to do, I may have to come in here with a sawzall, cut a little bit of this out, cut a little of the tenon off, and just spin the tenon a little bit further. 
a little more work, but this is what you have to do when you're dealing with non-dimensional stock. I mean, short of putting this on a big length and spinning it down, but then it takes away from all these crazy effects. I mean, this, this log has got white rot. Uh, it has faulted. The top of it, you can see this beautiful black and, and white and, and, and little light. I'm not sure what they are. Gray tones. When this thing is sealed up, it's going to be awesome. And it figures my phone is ringing, okay? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. Thank you again, my subscribers. I hope, I, I hope you like what I've, I, I got coming at you. All right, guys? Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.